you have to retrain your palate, all right? When your palate has been trained on high fructose corn syrup, an apple doesn't seem that sweet anymore. A grape doesn't seem that sweet anymore. But when you reset your palate, all of a sudden you bite into a strawberry and it's like, oh my gosh, this is wonderful, right? You bite into a sweet potato and you're like, is this like just a scoop full of sugar, right? That's the way it feels. But when you've just, when you, you know, when you slug down a couple Mountain Dews and a Monster and a Red Bull with your vodka, and, you know what I mean? You, your, your taste buds get a little whacked out and then you wonder why you don't find pleasure. I mean, imagine, just imagine, do this with yourself often because I, I think it's a good idea and if I think so, it must be so. Um, that was a joke, you can laugh, thank you, appreciate it. Um, imagine if you were alive hundreds of years ago and you came across an apple tree when apples were in season and you've just been eating whatever, right? Some mushrooms off the side of a tree, you know, the buffalo you shot, just some plant stuff that you, you bit into that apple, what would that be like? Yeah, but to us, it's like, right? It's like, we put sugar on the apple. <laughs> right? Can you put some sugar on my apple so it tastes good? Right? But let me give you another let me give you another way of thinking about this. Sometimes people could be sitting, you could be sitting in your seat thinking that I'm pretty radical. Right? Like this is radical. Can I give you my opinion of radical? Radical is putting poisonous foods in your body every day to the point where your arteries start to clog and you go and let somebody put anesthesia in your body and knock you out, slice you open, put stints in your veins and balloons up through your veins, right? And then sew you back up. To me, that's radical. Eating an apple ain't real radical to me. Trying a salad for lunch isn't real radical, right? Slicing your back open and getting people to bolt metal rods and bars in your back, that's radical. <laughs> getting an adjustment at a chiropractor it just ain't real radical to me. <laughs> right? Are you with me? I mean, you got to put it in context. What's radical? What's of value to you? I have an eight year old, a six year old, and a four year old. Right? That motivates me. Those of you that are parents, maybe you understand what I'm saying, but I want to be able to play and ride bikes and run around and throw balls and do whatever I can with those most wonderful, amazing little things that I've ever seen in my life for as long as I can. And that is way more exciting to me than, than going home tonight and eating a blizzard. It just is. Right? And when you clean this up and you start waking up every day with abundant energy, and you start waking up every day and your joints don't hurt, and you start waking up every day and your mind is clear. I mean, do you understand that depression and anxiety, right, and erectile dysfunction and all these things that are just everywhere in our culture, we have created based on how we live, right? I mean, call me weird, but if eating healthier helps me have sex longer, then I'm going to do that. <laughs> Right? I mean, every day of the week, right? And you say, oh, that, I don't think they're connected. They're connected. Plaque up your arteries and make them real, real hard, right? So your arteries don't have any flexibility and don't work anymore. And guess what, man? You got problems. All right? And it ain't because God didn't create you with Viagra that end the problem. Right? Are you with me? The only thing associated with low cholesterol and cholesterol medication is dementia and diabetes in a shorter lifespan, right? Every hormone in your body is made of cholesterol. Your brain is 60% fat, all right? Get off of the low-fat diet. You are dying and you are getting Alzheimer's and dementia from your low-fat diet. And any nutritionalist that tells you any different, listen, is wrong. Yeah, they're wrong. We need people that will take a stand and stand up and say, this is ridiculous. This is the richest, most affluent country in the world, and our health care system, our health as a nation, ranks 72nd in the world. And our health care system ranks 37th. 
right? So when it, this, what I'm talking to you about isn't radical. Radical is a heart attack. Radical is a stroke, right? And when you sit on the couch and consume refined sugars and carbohydrates, there's a certain outcome associated with that. It's guaranteed and predictable. Right? Not in my opinion, based on science. And so I employ you, I encourage you, that start with the principle of adding. Just pick one thing and do it for a month. And then pick one more thing and do it for a month. And then pick one more thing and do it to a month. And you start to add these things in, and guess what? Some of these other things would just start to go away. I didn't start out perfect. I, here's where I started. I started working out like a fiend, being fit, having six-pack abs, benching twice my body weight, and going home at night and getting a king-size bag of Chips Ahoy and eating every one of them. I couldn't eat one of them. I said, my mom would buy me the little bag. I was like, the little bag? Are we, are we going broke? Buy the king size bag. Huh? And I would eat both sleeves, every one. I ate a Pepsi float every night of my life. That's how I ended my day. A can of Pepsi, and then I filled it up with ice cream. I sat down, and I just had this emotional whatever it was. Right? every night of my life. You know, you know, I have absolutely zero desire. I don't wake up every day and say, I'm not going to eat a Chips Ahoy. I'm not going to do it. Mike, come on, you can do it. I'm not going to do it. I don't do that. I don't say, oh, Mike, you can make it today without a Pepsi float. Come on, you just, just hang in there. I don't do that. You know why? Because I've studied and I've read and I know what that was doing to my brain. I know what that was doing to my arteries. I know what that was doing to my organs. I know that was doing to my retirement and my future. And I'm not going back there. But that's where it happens, guys. It happens in here. If you think you're going to be alive in 2014 and put zero effort into your health and you're going to end up healthy, you're delusional. You're going to either drive by KFC Taco Bell or you're going to pull in. And that's a choice. And for some of you, it's a really, really hard choice. And that doesn't mean you're a bad person. It just means there's a lot of change that has to happen. Are you with me? You're going to decide. You vote for sickness or disease three to five times a day. It's called breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. You vote for heart disease, cancer, dementia, Alzheimer's, or you vote for life and longevity. Right? I mean, think about what the cholesterol ad says to you. It says, when diet and exercise don't work, Lipitor, right? <laughs> Why do you think it says right in there, when diet and exercise? Because they don't even want you to try it. Because they know if you change the way you eat and come here and work out, you don't need it. Right? You don't need Lunesta. You need less sugar in your veins and more exercise. And you'll sleep. You with me? I, I, you know, people say, well, you get a little passionate about it. It's life or death. Some people joke around and say every day what they do is life or death. I'm telling you what I do every day is life or death. Are you with me? Because something took you 30 years to kill you doesn't mean it didn't kill you. Right? Because it took 30 years to kill you doesn't mean it didn't kill you. But if somehow, if it doesn't kill me tomorrow, right? I mean, we know if we point a gun in our ear that that's not a good deal. But, you know, some rich crackers, I mean, uh, it's a, well, it's not one day of rich crackers, but it's 30 years of it. So when I talk about sugar, when I say sugar, you think the white powder stuff, right? Understand to your body, to your body, a piece of bread, a rich cracker, a saltine cracker, uh, pasta, it is no different. It's a refined, ground up, processed grain. As soon as it hits you, it goes into you, phew, glucose, right? 
Insulin goes up, right? What's the problem with insulin? Insulin is what's called a mitogenic hormone. What does that mean? It means it causes rapid cell division. So you consume a whole bunch of sugar which suppresses your immune system. Your insulin goes up so your cells are dividing rapidly. Sounds like a disaster, right? Sounds like cancer. Cells dividing rapidly, detection system is turned off because of high copious amounts of sugar.